We're here at the SHOT Show and we've run into Jim Stannis of Precision Air Gun and Supplies in uh, Michigan. And uh, Jim's taking a minute here. Uh, Jim, how long have you been coming to the SHOT Show? Oh gosh, John, this has got to be our seventh, eighth year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, what is it you're looking for here? You know, we're doing our due diligence and trying to uh, maintain and keep up with current products, whether they're optics, the air guns, or any other accessories that might be available. Sure. What, what lines do you carry there at your uh, shop? Oh, our premier lines are Steyr, of course. We're the direct importer for Steyr. The long guns, the high power versions, that's a top of the line product for us. We're also a direct in importer for the hill pump products, uh, top of the line pump that's available. Uh, we deal in FX products, Day State, Air Arms, Crossman. Uh, there's some other incidentals in there. I'm sure we carry the Calibre Crickets, uh, the HWs, the Viroc line as far as Springers, mm -hmm. and the Air Arms TX200 is another popular Springer, of course. Did you see the new Air Arms uh, field we target did. rifle? We did, the FTP, field target professional. Beautiful rifle, yeah. Yeah, that one's gonna be around for a while. We're anxious to get them in the shop. Hopefully, uh, we're talking with Simon at the booth, uh, next shipment, two to four weeks, we're hoping to have some in the shop. Wow. Those yeah. would be the 12 foot-pound versions. As yeah, I understand. 12 foot pound is going to be standard on that rifle, and the 12 foot pound in the field target right now, and like the international class, my gut feel is it's as popular, if not more popular, than the, in the FAC class. So that's that'll be an excellent rifle in 12 I, foot pound. I think it's growing. People like the challenge of that 12 foot pound. Yeah, the challenge, quieter shooting, better follow through, higher shot count. Right. Sure. Um, anything struck you here at the show? Uh, particularly interesting? Well, that model, that, that of course is a hot model. Uh, they also have a, a new sporter carbine they're bringing out with the mid-size classic air tube. I believe it's the uh, Hunter Extreme they're calling it, the laminate stock, ambi stock. Uh, oh, Day State's got their newest uh, Wolverine B model. Right. That's basically the Wolverine with the B model. That, that's, a, that's a hot ticket. That gun has legs. That's going to be here for a while. We've had some of those in the shop and They've been going out to satisfied customers. Very nice rifle, quiet rifle, right out of the box with that extended hugged shroud system. Good shot count. It's probably the most, one of the most efficient mechanical rifles we have in the shop right now. Uh, FX products always cutting edge. Uh, the 400 and 500, you know, series, which would include the Boss. It's on that platform. All state of the art guns. Uh, their new uh, bullpup design, which is the Bobcat, it is a hot ticket. It has all the same features as their 400, 500s, but in a more compact pass package, which a lot of shooters want and opt for. Wonderful guns. Have you seen the um, the, the the pump that they have up there? Oh yeah, the uh, the personal compressor, the Raptor. Raptor. That uh, yeah, that's the missing link that I say we've been waiting for forever. It uh, I, I think it kind of maybe picks up a little bit above the shoe box and gets you close to what a what a what a, what a full shop compressor like we have right. in the shop would do. Uh, for, for an individual, this will fill your gun, it'll, it'll fill your bottles. Uh, it's a standalone unit. You can just plug it in, set the pressure, it automatically drains, automatically shuts off. Uh, the, the fellow that designed this product, uh, he really put a lot into it. I mean, it goes above and beyond anything we pictured in the standalone unit. Right. But we have a full size shop compressor, we just upgraded it. It's a serious unit and it doesn't have. Uh, you know, pressure settings like this does. I mean, it all actually shuts off and drains, but to actually be able to calibrate the settings, you know, if you want to fill your gun at 3,000, turn it down to 3,000, it shuts off at 3,000. It's an amazing little unit. I, I yeah. like the idiot-proof aspect of it. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Jim, I appreciate you taking a minute. Same and, here, John. It was a pleasure meeting us. you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for being you. here and uh, supporting the public with all this valuable information. We appreciate right. you. Great. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir.